If you guys wanted to know how to make custom crafting using commands in Minecraft, stay till the end of this video to figure out how. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. Man, I just wanna be famous. Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and today I have another command block tutorial for you, and it's custom crafting. I have custom crafting for you. This is a really good system for servers, and it's really simple, two command blocks for the basic stuff. But it's really simple, really easy, you guys will love it, and yeah. But before I start this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this new tutorial world, and my fans, fans are amazing, they, they get to watch. So yeah. Let's get started on this tutorial. Okay guys, like you saw in the little intro cutscene, which I'm trying out new by the way, I, I think I'm gonna stick with it and I like it, so yeah. But anyways, like you saw, I did this pattern and got a diamond, so it's like ores put together to get a diamond. So this is like a custom crafting recipe, I put the recipe in, tests for it, and it gives me the diamond. So and you have to do it one at a time unfortunately, but I also set it up to do this. Where I put the diamond in and it gives me the, um, basically reverse crafts it. So yeah, just to show, prove a point. I don't think you would want to convert a diamond into firework stars to be honest. But <laughs> anyways, it's just to the prove a point that that's what you can do. And if you don't want it to switch back and forward, you got to put the crafting recipe on a different slot and stuff. So um, yeah, the first command is going to be repeating command. And it's repeat unconditional always active zero ticks. It's test for blocks. Tilde, tilde one, tilde, tilde, tilde one, tilde, and then the destination. So basically what it's doing is it's testing for the block above, and the actual coordinates are the, is the actual location of the crafting table. So yeah, basically what it's doing is it's checking to see if this exact thing is at this. So it's testing that. So yeah, and this one you're going to want to name the dropper for all of these. And then what you're going to do is put um, your recipe above the repeating block. And then the next one is going to be chain conditional, make sure it's conditional, always active, zero ticks, and then it's clone tilde, tilde one, tilde, tilde, tilde one, tilde, and then the same spot as that. So that's your chord. So basically what you're going to do is put the same thing, name, crafting table, but you're putting the reward or the actual thing that you're crafting there. So, above the repeating is the recipe, and above the chain is the reward, or whatever you'd call that, the outcome. And I have the other set set right here, so if you guys are confused why that was working, I just have the recipe there and the reward there. So yeah, guys, it's a really simple tutorial, and I'm letting my fans watch this time. <laughs> but yeah, really simple tutorial, I hope you guys liked it. And guys, if you really love this tutorial, please leave a like, and if you really loved it, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, I recently just hit 2,280 subs. Really means a lot to me. I've gotten the most subs I have in 28 days at 350 right now. Guys, thank you for all the support. And yeah, just anyways, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And this has been Bram, and I am out. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man, lock and load That's right I swear to God that I could drop it, bro Yeah I got a shot and I ain't